But first, we begin tonight with the state's effort to put shots into people's arms. Good evening. I'm Chelsea Jones. Both Providence and One Socket hosting equity focused vaccination clinics today. It's in response to the disproportionate vaccination rates in the state. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joining us now live from the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Brittany, what's the goal of all of this? Well, Chelsea, the event aims to vaccinate 12,000 people in just four days. Right now here outside of the Dunkin' Donuts Center, there is just a line of people who are anxious and excited, hoping to get vaccinated here. Organizers today tell us the event was a success, leaving hundreds of people informed, comfortable, and vaccinated. I cried when I like, was walking down the stairs. It was just an incredible experience. Claire Chu describing the emotional moment she got her first shot Saturday at this equity focused vaccine clinic at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. The goal aiming to reduce the racial disparity in vaccination rates in Rhode Island. We've seen how this um, pandemic has. Dis, um, disproportionately impacted communities of color. So the more people who are vaccinated, the better it is for all of us. Volunteers tell us some people of color are hesitant to get the vaccine, but today made a difference. They say seeing members of the community and medical staff that looks like them puts them at ease. They feel safe. They feel that they will be treated with respect. They feel that if they have a concern, they will be listened to. We just want to provide those facts and make people comfortable. Governor Dan McKee visited the mass vaccination site today. The tour did not allow media inside the facility. According to the Department of Health, just 3% of shots were given to the black community, who represent 8% of the state, while 9% were given to Hispanics, who represent 16% of residents. It clearly is a disparity. And that's why we're, we're hitting it head on. Interpreters covered several languages at the clinic. Volunteers greeted residents with conversation and answers to their questions. And just kind of relating to them and talking to them about what's going on in their life and what's bringing them here today and just kind of making it light. Everywhere we're cheerleading here, we're having fun and make everyone feel welcome. And those who missed the event today and are interested, there will be another BIPOC vaccine initiative event coming to both Providence and Woonsocket tomorrow and next weekend. For now, live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.